We, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't ask you about your uh, affinity for Ohio State. Uh, <laughs> we have a pretty big game coming up here uh, in the Rose Bowl and, and obviously uh, the rivalry with Michigan. Michigan's in the college football playoff. Uh, you mentioned a couple of pretty famous uh, Ohio State coaches, all, all of whom that won national championships. How would you describe uh, your fandom for the Buckeyes? Well, first of all, I, I don't want to leave out Ryan Day because I, I believe Ryan Day is going to win some multiple national championships. Uh, uh, my, my Buckeye fan pals and I are very excited about uh, about the present and the future. And and listen, to be it's so weird now to be in the Rose Bowl and and feel like you know we're kissing our sisters here because it's <laughs> uh, you know. I mean, it is, it's the Rose Bowl. It's the granddaddy of them all. I, right now, I'm worried about, you know, how we're going to stop the run without Haskell Garrett clogging up, uh, you know, the middle of the defensive line. Um, you know, you, I, I think based on name value alone, casual fans think, oh, Ohio State, they're going to, you know, kick butt against Utah. But I, this is – this is, <laughs> I, I, I'm really concerned about, uh, about how we're going to stop their run game and then obviously with our two best receivers opting out, uh, you know, how well we're going to be able to uh, – motivate down the field against uh, against you know a really really tough well coached utah team jk before you go i, I would like to ask you about uh, and this is you know you, you don't ever do this uh, you know with with certain actors but you're in your mid-60s you have become really one of the the, the most respected and and successful people at your art and it's and i'm not saying uh, you're an overnight sensation uh at, at, at this point in your life, because you've been doing this for so long, but it's it's hard to argue with with your stardom at this point. Um, what what? How would you describe ma making it this big uh, at a time when most act actors are being uh, sent off the stage uh, to to the pasture? Yeah. Um, well, in my case, uh, it, I'm I'm very fortunate, obviously in many ways uh, uh, in my career and in my life. But uh, one of the ways that I'm fortunate is that it didn't happen to me when I was, you know, a young kid, a, you know, 22 year old or whatever, because I, I was nowhere near mature enough to, uh, to not get my head turned by all the, you know, the BS that can surround becoming more well-known and more in the public eye. And uh, yeah. So uh, I'm glad it happened to me when I was a grown man and, you know, settled down and knew that my family was the most important thing. And uh, all the uh, all the attention and the accolades that have come are uh, are just, uh, you know, a, a nice uh, a nice amount of gravy on top of what's been a very satisfying career for, you know, even when I was making 200 bucks a week doing regional theater in the 80s. I was I've always loved what I do. And, uh, and I'm. Glad I get to keep doing it. Yeah, well, I, I think I think the farmers' commercials will be playing till the end of time, uh, as will so many other of your uh, movies. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, what a pleasure it has been for all of us uh, to get a chance to, to visit. J.K., thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Paul. Keep up the good work. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.